Na-promote ko muna itong product namin, is Kalinga Blend. Yan po, copy pouch po yan, merong bulb. So, yung freshness niya uh, will stay. Uh, meron din kaming Sagada Blend. Yan, Sagada Blend at yung pong anong Benyat Blend. Total uh, copy from the high. At uh, this, another presidential matchup. Mm -hmm. I will do it on a regular basis, I think. So, it will be daily upload. So, sino ba yung matchup natin? Who will we matchup today? When I was uh, going to the washroom, I was thinking, who is it? Then suddenly it came up to me that it is Ping Laksam against uh, Bong Bong Marcos. Well, the matchup is good. But gentlemen, you can say, but uh, in terms of politics, uh, Bong Bong Mar Marcos has the edge. Mm, he's been in politics for so long compared to Ping Laksam. Okay. Ping Lakson, yes, and he became uh, well known when uh, President Joseph Estrada came into office. But the thing is that uh, I couldn't find uh, what this guy has done so far in terms of the news. As far as I can remember, I don't think he has done one great uh, thing. He's been in the Senate, yes. I normally see him uh, do his stuff on the Senate, just uh, this thing. Uh, like uh, pure statesman, you could say. There's a lot of law that uh, he opposed and he co-authored, I think so. I haven't done my research, so... That's what I'm thinking, you know. Any great project in mind? I don't think so. There is a news before that uh, his son is smuggling uh, uh, something here in the Philippines using a corporation that has no, I think, uh, a proper document, documented uh, papers. Something like that. Corporation is uh, just a very small corporation, but they're importing so much uh, before that uh, that corporation shouldn't uh, or is not capable of uh, doing such thing because it's a small corporation. So something is there. So that sticks to my mind that uh, his son is doing something because he is a senator. And the previous government doesn't mind what they are doing. <laughs> uh, but nowadays it is uh, the Tetris term and a lot of uh, things are happening in the Bureau of Customs. And they can see things nowadays. So politically wise, I will go with Bong Bong. Okay. Uh, what he has done, I will go with Bong Bong. Both are gentlemen, I can say. So that is two and two and a half and point five for Lakson. So they're equal as gentlemen. Can they lead the country, Bob? I could simply say um, yes, but there are some uh, questions to be filled up with that. So for now, I'll just uh, give them a point, a point. Equal. So we have three points for Marcus and one point for Ping Lax. What else is there? The image itself. Well, uh, I cannot simply say because I haven't done my research, but simply say that the image is there. But with Ping Lakson, I have heard something. Uh, this term with the Joseph Strader, there's a lot of kidnappings during that time. It's mostly Chinese, so... Who is there? It's Ping Lakson and jo President Strader. So, there's some doubts in there. So it's a cloudy thing that when there is smoke, there is fire for sure. So, that sticks also to my mind. I haven't done my research, guys. Huh? Please, uh, you can bash me or see something against me. I don't mind because I, I just heard it. So it's 
I have no proof proof with that, but it's, it sticks on my mind. That why during those times there are a lot of Chinese being kidnapped or what? Maybe who is in there? I don't know. But who is on top? Strada and Taxi was there during that time. So uh, for me, with that, uh, I conclude that uh, <coughs> uh, our runaway winner is Bong Bong Marcos against Ping Laksan. And again, uh, there's a video that I'll be releasing uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, uh, earlier, I re released one video earlier where people ask people who they will be voting. And I think no single person. Ah, there is one for King Lapson. I think one or two. Couldn't remember. Um, anyhow, uh, please, guys, both both wisely. Do one thing. Make research on your own. Who will be the the best president? Then compare it to the what the people in your community say. Then compare with yours. Then you choose wisely. You choose wisely. Why? Because he will be sitting there for the next six years. President Duterte has minimized the, the drug um, peddlers and addicts. Hopefully the next president can do that. Still minimize it. If president Duterte has minimized it. The next president should minimize it. So uh, there will be a team. people that will be into drugs. Again, who can do it? Uh, well, uh, King Lawson is there in the government a long time. He, has he done something about drugs? Just asking. Just my thoughts. Has he done something about those drugs? Hmm, you seen it? Bong Bong Marcos, has he done something? Hmm, <laughs> how about the <clears throat> lady candidate? Has he done, has she done something about Hmm, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Again, stay tuned guys for my next presidential uh, matchup. And again, uh, hopefully you do your research. I am not doing my research yet, but I definitely I'll be doing slowly by slowly. And uh, hopefully, I can uh, make my blogging much uh, credible with those research that I have. Uh, I'll be doing my research not only once, one one. Uh, radio station or newscaster or I won't do that I'll make multiple research about one person on different things then I'll mix it up like that and we'll just get the essence and the most real, reliable thing uh, that I could uh, share to you guys so for now for me it's still Bong Bong Marcos against Ping Laksan and uh, why is that it's simply because Simply because. Uh, on the streets, Bong Bong Marcos is ahead of anybody else. Ping Lakson is way down. So why are we going to go with the losers? I'm not saying he, he is a loser. Already. Why are we going to this guy if I cannot simply, in, in my matchup, I cannot simply bring him up. Now, if I, if I do my research and he goes up, then I'll go with this guy. As simple as that. Simple as that. For now, uh, stay tuned for more again. Uh, the next presidential matchup. Uh, there are two more guys. Uh, one guy 
with uh, against uh, Bongbong Marcos. So I've done Pacquiao, Isko Moreno, Ping Lacson, and Lenny Roberto. So there is only one left, that is uh, the great generalism. So stay tuned for that. Again, please guys vote wisely. I'm not telling you to vote Bongbong Marcos. But for me, I will vote him. And <clears throat> there are a lot of YouTubers that I'm that are watching my my videos about this one, and they are going for Bong Bong Marcos. One YouTuber from um, Japan, she said that our family is very very close to this guy, but we will not vote him. We will vote for Bong Bong Marcos. You see. Because they know the capability, the capability of this uh, guy compared to this guy. But why they are using, uh, they are choosing Bong Bong Marcos? Simply because maybe they have done the research. Correct. So uh, your family is very close to one candidate, but you're not voting. You're going to the other guy. That's it guys and uh, what else can I say? Uh, may the best men win, mm, whoever it is. Uh, hopefully they continue what uh, President Duterte has done, continue the projects, continue the the war against drugs and, th and that matters most. Make Philippines great again guys. We are very very great before we are number two, second to Japan only. Hopefully, uh, the next president will be like that. And again, for those of you who haven't uh, registered, please register now. And again, please vote wisely. That's all I can say now. And uh, this is a series of um, match up like this. Again, there will be, this is only round one. There will be round two, three, up to ten rounds until election came. And hopefully... Uh, we will see uh, before the the election comes. We will see who will be there, the top two guys. And again, stay tuned. I'm very excited again uh, for this thing. And again, stay tuned for me. This is Mr. Arnolds. And again, uh, uh, stay tuned for my next uh, presidential match up here. Yeah. My channel. Peace out.